Kazam are still somewhat of an unknown name when it comes to smartphones, but they are backed by an experienced team. Offering cost-effective handsets is their aim and as such is achieved through the likes of a free screen replacement if you should damage yours as well as remote assistance. The Tornado 348 is their latest device with a Guinness World Record to its name. An Android smartphone with octa-core processing power, we put the Tornado through its paces to see how it performs. The word Tornado gives the impression of power and strength, and to some extent, the hardware specification of the Tornado is aligned with this. 5.15mm thin, 4.8 inch AMOLED HD screen, 1.7 GHz octa-core processor, Android 4.4 8 megapixel camera, 5 megapixel front camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, USB on the go and 16 gigabytes of storage. There is no micro SD memory card slot and no 4G. Out of the box, Kazam pre-fit a silicone case to the phone. In many respects, you need it to grip onto the handset, as without it, it's quite slim and a little slippy. In the hand, the phone feels solid thanks to the metal frame that runs around the edge, and there is no denying that it has an Apple iPhone-esque look to it. Head-on, the screen really stands out, and there feels to be a lot of white space above and below, thus the handset is quite tall. No doubt the extra height is a result of the lack of depth. Personally, I find the right side more comfortable and practical for the power and volume keys as opposed to the left on which they are positioned. The 2050mAh battery is built into the device and is not user removable. At less than 96 grams, the Tornado is noticeably lighter when compared to other handsets. The 348 has a screen resolution of 1280x720 rather than the more desirable 1920x1080, but do not let this put you off. Sony have had great success with the Z1 and Z3 Compact that have had a lower resolution screen, so there is no particular reason why Kazam could not enjoy such. Being an AMOLED panel, it is crisp and sharp with good colours and certainly looks appealing to the eye. The lower resolution drains less power, which means longer time away from a fixed power source. The Tornado runs the ever so popular Android operating system. Adaptation of stock Android is always very limited on any Kazam handset, which is a positive and a negative. On the plus side, you know what you are getting and it's not laden with memory hungry additions. On the negative side, some of those software additions can be useful and make for a more rounded user experience. Out of the box, Android 4.4 is installed, version 5 is on its way. If you are not aware, any handset powered by Android gives you all the standard Google services out of the box, just input your existing Google account details and within minutes you can be up and running. Use the Play Store to access your favourite software titles from games to business applications, they're all available. There is a file manager on board as well as an FM radio for those who still like to tune in the old fashioned way. The most extensive customization has taken place in some of the menu systems, most notably the settings and notification shade. The settings have been broken down into quick and all settings, making it simpler for access to the most required features. It helps make things easier for first time users. Value added extras come in the form of being able to schedule power on and off on the device as well as airplane mode and also smart gestures such as double tap to wake up and smart dial, simply bring the phone to the ear when in the contact details screen. Pull down the notification shade and under the settings tab there is a large number of customizable shortcuts, with clear graphics for simple access and on off facilities for key technologies such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Throughout our testing the performance has been fairly good, although the 1GB of RAM at times appeared to struggle when running multiple more intensive apps and processes. Whilst the 348 may tout a super slim profile, what it does not shout is its connectivity features. It has everything you would expect as a basic nowadays, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and 3G, but it does lack 4G and NFC. I wish not for the 348 to be overshadowed by this lack of connectivity, but for me these really are a must-have, even if it made the handset marginally more expensive as a result. Mounted on the back of the phone, the speaker is reasonably loud and registers in the mid-80s on the decibel meter. Thankfully the speaker does not sound like it is strained, nor is there any vibration coming from it. 
Unfortunately, whilst audible and generally pretty good, the sound lacks that warm tone and no audio played from it really draws you in. In fairness, for most of what you're going to be doing on a phone is more than acceptable. It is not a deal breaker, but if using the tornado in landscape mode, there is a possibility of muffling the speaker a little due to its location. With a rear facing 8 megapixel camera and front facing 5 megapixel, the tornado offers quite a lot in the camera department. The camera application itself is not the most comprehensive, but there is a well designed menu system which allows for simple configuration and customization of the settings. The results from the camera are above satisfactory but stop short of achieving that wow factor. The colours are fairly balanced but do not have much of a vibrancy, which in many respects is better as these can be easily boosted post capture. On board editing functionality is reasonably good, giving plenty of opportunity to tweak images and make them more suitable for the purpose you intend to use them. Low light shots with the flash are not too bad but there is more evidence of noise. You have four times digital zoom available through a pinch on screen or via the volume keys. If you prefer, the volume keys can be made to act as the shutter button. At 2050mAh, the battery in the Kazam is not geared to the always on worker, but will last the average user through a typical day. With approximately six hours call time, I found the Kazam acceptable in battery performance when you consider the other benefits it brings, but a full day away from power may leave you a little uneasy as to whether it will actually last as long as you need it to. There are power saving modes that go some length to extend the life of the device, but the Tornado does not boast the two day battery life like the Sony Z3 Compact may. At £250 SIM free the Tornado is most certainly at the cheaper end of the scale, but the smartphone market has changed a lot over the last year and for £250 you now have a lot of choice and can obtain a lot for your money. Not as sleek or quite as well featured is the Motorola Moto G, this is around the £150 mark and is a marked saving. For a few extra pounds you can pick up a Samsung Galaxy S4 which has a few more features but lacks quite such a desirable look and feel. It is all too easy to forget in this price a free screen replacement. In conclusion, many things draw me to the Tornado. The screen is bright with good colours, the performance is pretty good, the camera is better than average and the super slim profile makes it quite desirable. However, stack up the negatives and consider the competition and I personally find it hard to justify the Kazam as a viable everyday phone. I cannot say it is a bad handset, just there are better products both below and above it. The Tornado is a solid bit of kit that looks the part and if style is key then you cannot go too far wrong. Apple S looks with a not so Apple-esque price tag.